Welcome everybody. Now we're ready to do some digitizing in the digitizer. We're going to create some basic pattern shapers. We're going to set control points and we're going to make our patterns gradable. So let's get started. Load a size file into the size panel. To do that, go over here to the size drop down and select unisex medium. The measurements for this model has now loaded. These measurements are editable. So let's take a look at the forehead. If you have a forehead of 24 inches, you would just type in 24 and save it. You could add a new name if you wanted to use these measurements as your basic set. But we're not going to change that for now. So let's put it back to 22. Now that we have our measurements, we can set our control points. These are the measurements that we want to use to resize the pattern shaper that we're going to create in the drawing area. We're going to create a hat, so let's set it to the forehead. So on the X and the Y, set it to the forehead. These are your control points. So when you change the forehead measurement, the pattern shape will change as well. So let's create that pattern. In this part, we have different cells for different shaper blocks that make up our pattern set. So let's start with the first block and the first point. Now before you start drawing, clear the drawing area and then add the first point. Then drag the point where you'd like it on the screen. Now we're going to create a box and let's drag the layout panel in view here and let's get the caliper tool. The caliper tool allows us to measure on screen so that we know how big, how wide, how our patterns are sized. Let's create a new one based on some caliper measurements. Let's drag it to this width here. And I said, I think I said two and a half inches, so let's do that two and a half inches. And then we can line that up there too. We can change the dimensions of the drawing area later. So let's create a box this big. We can set it with the, the caliper, or we can just type in, of course, let's say we'll just type in six here. We have created the first point. We're going to create a brand new point by clicking on the blue button here. Now the, the point is copied in the same location. So there's actually two points there now. And what we want to do is we want to send that point to move it over two and a half inches. So just click on the X over button and then we're going to just copy that button one more time and we're going to send it down on the Y and then we're going to copy the next one and send that one over and voila you've got your first pattern block. Now when you've created your pattern pieces, your pattern shaper, you'll want to add details to it. So let's do that now. Let's grab regular text and we'll call this the band. And then you just want to click on and move it so that it saves your edit to that file. Now let's give our file a file name. So we're going to call this hat-band and we'll give it a number 001 like so. Just hit save And voila, you've created your first pattern. And that's all there is to it. To add a seam to your hat, which we'll show you in the later tutorial. And I'll show you how to open up a daisy hat brim here, which is the pattern here. Let's, uh, we're grading this uh, to a much bigger size. So let's just change the size file. This one's designed for a doll. And we're going to bring that in as the daisy hat brim. And that's how quick and easy it is graded to a forehead measure of 9 inches instead of 22 inches, which gives you the much bigger, bigger pattern piece, which would fill more pages. Okay, now we're going to do some more digitizing. And we're going to create a new shaper block 
So let's go to the second block here. We're going to delete the first point, and then we're going to add a point, the first point, that is. And we're going to drag the point to where we want to start our new polygon. And then just hold down the Control key and click where you want to digitize your shape to. And there we have a new shape that we've created. Now that you've finished your shape, we're going to drag in the arcs. And the way you do that is you, you select the arc, and then you can adjust the curvature of that line. And let's say we want to make this rounded here, so you would select arc 8, and then you would drag your arc like so. The way the arc intersects with the, the lines is adjusted by the angle of the point like that. And that's how we create our openings and curvature on our sleeves when we're creating our polygons. So that's how you would draft out a pattern shape. So what we're going to do is let's just uh, delete that and we'll just hit delete poly and that will get rid of that polygon because we were just fooling around. We don't really need that one. But we are going to digitize a pattern piece from a drawing. And so let's go into uh, block one here and we'll uh, delete that one as well. And now we're going to select the first point and delete that. Add a point. And let's start the first point right here like that. And then hold down the control key and then just click on each one of these points all the way around this daisy hat. And if you don't get it just right on the point, that's okay because you can adjust it later. Because these pattern pieces are editable like that. Now we're going to drag in our arcs. Select the, the third one. Then we're going to just remember the arc is always behind the, the point. Which means like like that way. So now we're going to match up here. And what we can do is we can just gray out the background so we can see our lines better. And then we'll just go from arc to arc. And just, I'll finish that and then we'll come back. Okay, I finished the curvature on the daisy hat and I'm just going to do the inner opening here on the hat. So I just thought I would show you how we do that. And we'll go to point 12. Draw again the arc, like so. And I'm just matching the, the line of the pattern piece here. And then we have our first arc point here. And we just drag that in. And voila! There's our pattern shaper. And that's all there is to creating your pattern shaper. Now we'll just label it here. Daisy hat, and we'll center it, and we can save that as, and then just click save, and you're done. You've now created your second pattern shaper. This time you've digitized it from a pattern that we've imported from a JPEG. So try that in your software, and then you'll be ready for the next tutorial. Bye for now.